What's going on everybody? It's Aaron Cates and welcome back to the channel. Now today we're going to be testing out two of the top competitors for polishing aluminum wheels. Now you might ask yourself, I don't have a high speed polisher, I don't have anything like that. I'm just trying to hand polish my wheels and figure out what the best one is. Clicked on the right video. Today we're going to be testing some Zephyr Pro 25 Easy Cut Metal Polish. We're also going to be testing some Renegade Rebel Red Forged Metal Polish. Now, these are two of the top competitors. In my opinion, there might be another company that I didn't mention that you guys are like, oh, they're so much better than them. These are the top two, in my opinion, that go head to head when it comes to polishing wheels. A lot of people use a lot of the rouges from Zephyr and they use a lot of the rouges or pads from Renegade. They like to mix it up because they have a lot of experience in what works best. So I figured why not do the same with some hand polish because right now my high speed polisher actually broke when I wrapped my American Forces. And so I'm left to just hand polishing my wheels until I get another high speed polisher. So I, I thought to myself, you guys might be in the same boat. Maybe you have some Forces, Fuel Forged, even just some Mickey Thompson Classic 2s and you're trying to figure out what the best hand polish is because one, you don't have the money for a high speed polisher, you don't want to buy it, anything like that, or you just want some, some type of hand polish that works best for when you're going to a show or just that pop-up Walmart meet, anything like that, this video might answer that question for you. So we're going to be taking off one of my rims and tires and we're going to run a piece of tape down the center of it and we're going to test out each product on each side. So we'll have one side of the Renegade and one side of the Zephyr and do our full polish, hand polish everything, both with a different pad. And then at the end, we'll pull the tape off, see which side is shinier. So stay tuned. Bringing me some inspiration. Never meant to love no one. But baby, I saw you for a second and I'm happy that you came my way. Don't want to waste no time without you ever brightening up my days. Never meant to fall so hard. As you guys see, we are doing the back of the wheel. I figured the back of the wheel would be a better option for the test rather than the front because the fronts are already very shiny and you wouldn't be able to tell a very big difference if one was drastically better than the other because the front's already polished. The back, on the other hand, doesn't get polished but maybe once every couple months when I rotate my tires or if I take a tire off to mess with my wheel lights or anything like that. That's the only time that anything ever gets messed with on the back side of the wheel. So I figured this would be a better test subject for our polish. But to start it off, we have to clean it because the last time the back of this wheel was cleaned was probably three months ago. And what I like to use to clean my wheels, or aluminum wheels when I'm about to polish them, is this Starbright Ultimate Aluminum Cleaner and Restore. Now this is like 20 something dollars on Amazon. There will be a link below. But what is great about that is it opens up the pores in the aluminum, so it makes it easier to polish. A lot of polishers use this before they high speed polish a wheel because it actually brings out the, the shine even better. But I've noticed that if you wash the wheel with that and then hand polish, it actually makes your hand polish results even better. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to hose off the wheel. We're going to uh, spray some of that on an old microfiber make sure you're not using anything that you'd like to keep because it will ruin it it is straight acid so be careful guys and we're gonna wipe the wheel down but you left me alone inside these empty broken walls and I can't see it clearly but it's obvious I know that you left Okay, 
Now obviously you can tell the wheel is a lot cleaner. Now I don't know if you noticed, but I did two different coats on this. The first one, I tried to just get a lot of the brake dust off with some of the acid on a microfiber. And then the second one, I went around and retouched everything. And I don't know if you noticed, but it got kind of foggy. It's got a little bit of a haze to it. That's because it, now all the pores are open and it opens it up and gives it like this cloudy look and when you come in and polish it that cloudiness will actually go away. Now we're going to run our tape straight down the center. We're going to polish the back side of the face. We're going to do the lip, and the, the barrel, and the lip and everything. The only problem is you guys can tell there's some old adhesive on the inside from old wheel weights where these have been rebalanced. Normally I would try and take that off if I was going to be high speed polishing these because I would just scrape it all off and then wire wheel it with a very fine wire wheel to try and get anything small off. Then you could sand it down and then high speed polish it. But since I'm only hand polishing it, I'm just going to try and leave it and work around it as much as I can. But first we have to get this wheel all dried off so I'm going to let it sit out in the sun, dry off, and let it sit in the shade and cool down just a little bit and I'll pick you guys back up. Okay, now our wheel is all completely dried off. We're going to take our tape and go straight down the center. And then we're going to, we're going to do Zephyr as our left side. And we're going to do Renegade as our right side. Now, before I polish anything, I always shake up the bottle and then pour a little bit on a polishing pad. Now, just like everything in this video, between the polish, microfibers, acid wash, anything I use in this video will be linked down below. I'm gonna use one side of this pad for Zephyr and the other side of this pad for Renegade. Normally I'd use a different pad, but this is my last perfectly clean one, so we're gonna make do. We're gonna do one side with each. We're gonna run our tape down the center, and then we're gonna buff in our polish and then let it flash, turn that, that dark black color, and we're gonna wipe it all off and uh, see what our results are. There's definitely a distinctive line of where we did not polish. So obviously both polishes do something, but just take a look like this. Take a look at the bottom. I'm kind of torn, guys. I don't know which side looks better. And like I said before, Zephyr was my favorite. I, I've used Zephyr polishing kit to polish my wheels really ever since I got my American Forces. But Renegade had a booth at the Daytona truck meet. They were running a good deal on the hand polish, so I figured why not? I'll try it out. But unbiased opinion, guys. Renegade, Renegade is right up there with Zephyr, but in my opinion, Zephyr does look a little bit shinier. Now first, let's talk consistency. The consistency of each polish. The Zephyr is more of a thick consistency, kind of comes out. Once they let up paste, because it's still a little bit watery, it's almost like a toothpaste, if that's a good comparison for you guys. All of you brush your teeth, as I hope you do. You might have some stinky breath if you don't. But I think the Zephyr is more like a toothpaste when the Renegade is more of a like chalky liquid. It's almost like the consistency of milk, I guess would be a good way to put it, where it's not as thin as water, but it's not as thick as toothpaste. It's pretty thin. It's almost like if you were to just uh, get some, like, get a cup, scoop in, like, a clay puddle, 
kind of like that consistency where there's still texture to it that milk I just wouldn't have but it, it's kind of still watery just a little bit thicker than water so Zephyr is definitely thicker which I think might help in the long run because you're putting a polish on you don't want it to be watery you guys saw I shook both of them up it wasn't like I only shook one of them up and got it all mixed up I shook both of them up for a good 10-15 seconds to get it nice and mixed up but in my opinion the Zephyr looks better I'm gonna go get my girlfriend she doesn't know which side is which and see uh, if she can pick a side she likes better. That's hard to tell, isn't it? The left. Left is shinier? Mm -hmm. All right, that's what I picked too. Left is Zephyr, right is Renegade. So, like I said, I think the Zephyr does look better. Left definitely is a little bit clearer, but even she had a hard time picking which one was which. So, I mean, really, they're both a toss up. Uh, if you can get a better deal on one, then I guess go with it. But in my opinion, Zephyr did take the W on this one because the side is just a little bit, a little bit shinier. Now, I don't want you guys to think that this is a sponsored video and I'm like, oh, just go Zephyr, Zephyr looks better. If Renegade looks better on camera and you guys are just thinking, oh, Renegade looks better, then get Renegade, guys. This isn't a sponsored video at all. Bought both of these with the money out of my pocket. Nothing was sent to me to test out. Nothing was free here. This is all bought and paid for with me, and I just thought this video would be a good idea to show the difference in hand polishes. But in my opinion, Zephyr, Zephyr did do good. Now, I'm not saying that Renegade did a bad job. The right side's still shiny. You guys can see that there's a line for both sides. So both polishes polished the wheel. Both polishes made a difference. It's just, I, in my opinion, I think Zephyr did a better job polishing the wheel than Renegade did. And you guys saw, I did it all by hand. I used the same type of pad. Hell, I used the same pad, just different sides, so we didn't contaminate and mix a little Renegade with Zephyr, Zephyr with Renegade, and vice versa. But I used a clean microfiber, a clean pad, clean wheel, Fresh, freshly acid washed, completely dry. So this this isn't rigged anything. Zephyr won with this one. So like I said, there will be links to everything down in the description below. I'm gonna get this truck put back together. Uh, put you guys up after that. All right, everybody, and that is all for this video. I can't say I'm honestly surprised because I was kind of expecting Zephyr to come out on top just because that's the brand I started out with. Uh, I did a lot of research before I ever bought like really any name brand polish. When I got my American Forces, the guy I got them from gave me some white diamond and a mother's Powerball. And I thought it's the best thing ever until I started doing a little bit more research, watching more videos, following more people on social media, joining more groups on Facebook and just different things like that to further my knowledge on polish. And that's when I found out about Renegade, Zephyr. There's a couple other companies here and there. There's Mothers that made some magnet aluminum polish. I actually have a video on that. But Zephyr stood out. Uh, everyone loved Zephyr. The Pro 25, uh, the Pro 40, the Eliminators, the Rouges, the Pads. Everyone just loved everything to do with Zephyr. So that's who I ended up going with. But I always, I always knew about Renegade. Just I had Zephyr and it worked. Well, like I said, at Daytona Truck Me, I saw Renegade. Said, screw it, I'll give it a shot. The one thing that Z that Renegade does that I love is the smell of that polish. It smells like a guy's cologne, and it just smells very, very good. Zephyr doesn't really have much of a smell to it, but that that Renegade smells like guy's cologne. The first like three times I used it, I kept like smelling my hands, smelling my arms. I was like, where's the smell coming from? And it's coming from the polish, which absolutely blows me away. They can get a scent like that in a polish, and the polish still work very good so if you guys would like anything that was used in this video microfibers pads aluminum wheel cleaner anything it's gonna be linked down in the description below now if you made it this far in the video please go down and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already it does help me a lot and it truly truly does mean a lot to me so i want to thank you all for watching this video and i'll catch you in the next one see ya